I grinded a lot of strikes to get to rank 16 so I could get this weapon and also to complete this path victory challenge that takes so long to complete. So what is this weapon? This is the Fair Judgment. It's going to be a precision frame stasis auto rifle and it comes with dynamic spray reduction, onslaught, rhyme stealer, and headstone. Now if we take a further look at those perks, obviously dynamic sway is pointless for PvE. Onslaught is a great PvE perk, but I do think this weapon really wants you to play into the stasis build crafting aspect of it and that's why rhyme stealer and headstone are going to be the go-to options if we take a look at d2 foundry real quick only four other weapons can get that one being the exuviate hand cannon alongside the red tape scout rifle then the live fire scout rifle and then archon thunder but let's be honest no one's really going to be using that an honorable mention is liturgy which can get rhyme steel and chill clip this can also kind of do the same thing but if you really want to play into that synergy headstone is going to be the better option and so if you don't have any of those weapons this is where fair judgment can come into play and why I grind it so heavy for it. I was very interested in the combination of Headstone and Rhyme Stealer, and I can confirm it is very, very strong. Now, all the gameplay you're going to see from this is either going to be on Legend or Expert difficulty, so you can kind of get a feel for the weapon. Obviously, in lower end content, the gun's just going to shred enemies, and I'll even include some master gameplay right here where I am 10 under, and you can see that it does decent damage. It's obviously not the best primary weapon in the game, but what this weapon really does provide is that perk synergy, and it is very, very good. Good. So real quick, if you don't know what the two perks do, we do have Headstone, so Precision Final Blow spawn a Stasis Crystal at the victim's location, and then Rhyme Stealer, destroying a Stasis Crystal or defeating a Frozen Target with this weapon grants you Frost Armor. Frost Armor is actually going to grant you damage reduction, which is obviously very strong for your survivability, and then Headstone is going to be very strong for Ad Clear, and they obviously can synergize together because one makes a crystal, and then destroying the crystal gives you the Frost Armor. The really cool part about that is that you typically would want to run headstone with a stasis build but you can literally run this with any subclass even prismatic and you're going to get this frost armor so frost armor is pretty much universal now for anything you want to run if you are running a weapon with this so i'm going to actually start showing gameplay of the synergy actually build crafting with it the previous gameplay was just kind of shooting the gun so you see the damage profiles but if we take a look at actually playing into a build with this weapon this is going to be the stasis build i made yesterday and also a prismatic version i have coming up you can see that this weapon actually does very very well just being able to have permanent frost armor if you aren't running a stasis subclass is very strong and even if you are running a stasis subclass it is extremely easy to keep your frost armor stacks up and then you can also even play into things like whisper of rom so you can do more damage to crystals and this thing becomes an absolute ad clear machine while also keeping you alive so i'm not 100 sure what the enhanced trait of rhyme stealer does it does say destroying a stasis crystal or defeating a frozen target with the weapon grants you an improved amount of frost armor so i would imagine it's going to grant you two stacks of frost armor and if that is the case it is 100 worth enhancing this trait and then with headstone it only gives you plus five stability so I, I really wouldn't worry about that also as a side note i think the sound design on this weapon is extremely cool as well and it also even has the rtk's look which in my opinion is one of the best auto rifle designs in the game and finally a weapon with that gets a chance to shine now i'm not going to lie to you and act like the auto rifle itself here is like the greatest thing in the game it is very much the perks that are making this strong if these perks are rolled on any other weapon you will probably just not have to use this thing and once again if we do compare the stuff that is competing against it we can see that there are some decent options the hand cannon is a 120 but i still think it's going to hit hard it's going to be extremely easy to proc headstone also the origin trait on it is pretty good as well but the origin trait of the auto rifle is also very strong which i'll talk about in a second we have the red tape which has the same origin trait this is going to be a 200 round per minute scout rifle so they're pretty decent i think it probably will perform better on this and then the live fire which is a 180 i don't particularly see this thing being too crazy it does have field tested for its origin trait i could see it being okay but 180s notoriously aren't the greatest in pve and then obviously archon thunder well we're not even gonna talk about that but where the fear of judgment does stand out is the fact that this does come with vanguard's vindication so this is final blows of this weapon grant a small amount of health every time you get a kill with this gun now you're going to kill some which is obviously very strong on its own but it also has perfect synergy with rhyme stealer to grant you damage reduction so it becomes a primary weapon that's not only strong in ad clear and strong with the synergies that it does provide with subclasses but on top of that you also become hard to kill because again you're healing 
healing and getting damage reduction on pretty much every single kill. And then finally taking a look at the artifact perk at some of the synergies that it can provide. One of the main ones is honestly going to be Wolf Frost. So when you have Frost Armor, you're going to get more reload speed and stability. So it makes it really easy to shoot this. And since the gun itself can provide the Frost Armor, you're getting the own benefits. You can then pair that with the Stace Slaughter and this thing actually reloads very very quickly and since it is an auto rifle you can also pair that with things like wind chill so stasis weapon precision hits or rapid stasis weapon precision hits will grant you frost armor so now not only breaking crystals and frozen targets grant you frost armor but just getting headshots with this weapon will grant you frost armor which is very very nice and then finally even things like hell the storm so whenever you shatter a stasis crystal you'll release the slowing shards if you are running stasis this is great to pair with whisper of fissures so you can also increase the size and burst of the stasis crystals and the frozen targets and it becomes a very very strong strong at clear machine with very good reload speed and the ability to keep you alive and then if you opt into play prismatic you can take things like facet of ruin so it will work the exact same way as whisper of fissures and you can play into that fantasy of just blowing everything up with the stasis crystal so i think it is a fair judgment to say that fair judgment is a pretty solid weapon i'm sorry i just had to and it is definitely one i would farm for if you don't have a different weapon with rhyme stellar headstone even with the other options i don't know if they're going to be particularly better than this one i think they will be able to compete there may be some that take the edge a little bit but the fact that this weapon can heal you with its origin trait paired alongside the damage reduction and just the ad clear in general it makes it one of the best weapons that you can currently run in this specific season now beyond the season i think it still will be okay but i cannot lie to you all and say that the artifact is not helping it out but that is the fair judgment i know this is a new style of content on the channel i don't normally do weapon reviews unless it's just something super specific if you all like to see more of these definitely be sure to let me know down below if you haven't checked out any of my builds so far with remnant also be sure to go give those a watch and if you enjoy consider subscribing and dropping like all of the support goes a long way and i truly appreciate it anyway though i wish you all the best of luck on grinding for this weapon i want to thank you all so much for watching and i hope you all have a great day peace